Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Crim and Ollie, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Uh, today I'm continuing my library tour um, and I'm going to go through all of my Ian Rankin books with you. So I did say um, in my weekly wrap up video that I was going to do a library tour that was the final box that's in the attic which is um, Ian Rankin, Ian Banks and J.K. Rowling books. Um, but I've decided there's just too many damn books in there. The video will be so long uh, that it would just be too much. So I'm going to do them. Um, I'm going to do three videos. So for the next three weeks, you will get one of those authors each week. So this week's Ian Rankin. I think next week will be Ian Banks. And then the week after that will be the one I suspect to be uh, will be less successful, least successful, which will be the J.K. Rowling slash Robert Gal Galbraith one. Um, so let's get on with Ian Rankin. So if you don't know Ian Rankin, he's a Scottish author. He was recently knighted. So he was knighted in I think the Jubilee Honours, so he is now Sir Ian Rankin, which is rather wonderful. He's a really good writer. Um, so he writes crime detective fiction. His most famous character is John Rebus, who's a, a police detective in Edinburgh. Um, and that's what most of the books I've got here are. There's a few, there's one that's a collection of short stories and one which is um, some stories uh, or some books about another character but most of his books are Rebus and that's mostly what I've got. I've, so this is not all of my Ian Rankin books though. There are a couple back here somewhere that I picked up recently um, which are ones that originally published under a pseudonym um, and then republished as Ian Rankin books more recently. So those are ones I bought quite recently in uh, in a charity shop. So I'm not going to talk about those. Um, I'm just going to go through the Rebus one. So I, I am slowly working my way through the Rebus series. I've read a few of them over the years. Um, and then a few years ago decided I was going to read them in order. But I haven't read one, to be honest with you, for ages. And I need to get back into them because they're, they're really good. So they're just good kind of police procedural type things as well. Um, you know anyway but Rebus is one of those detectives who kind of locks himself away and thinks about things a bit and then you know deduces the um deduces the solution so it's not just police procedural there's a bit more kind of Holmesian stuff going on as well um they also have decent action in them so Rebus is a, an ex-SAS um soldier so there you do get a bit of action there's loads of references to music so Ian Rankin's really into music um and so is Rebus so there's lots of talk about music which is quite interesting and there's also lots of boozing so um so uh rebus tends to re frequent a pub i can't remember what the name of it is now but there's like walking tours you can go on in edinburgh where you go around all the pubs from the rebus books so you know beer definitely plays a large part uh, in these books and of course whiskey um so let me go through them i i thought i had the first one which is tooth and nail but i don't seem to have that I've, i'm sure i've got it on my kindle though and i think where i have got gaps in the rebus series i think most of the books i've got on my kindle i haven't checked but i think i've probably got almost the whole series um i need to identify the ones that i haven't got yet so i can so i can grab those and then i think i'm going to start reading them again um so anyway tooth and nail sorry what's the first one called i just said it and i've forgotten it anyway i've got the first one somewhere um let me let me check what it is knots and, knots and crosses is the first one um so anyway this is the second one which is hide and seek um a lot of these are my preferred size of book so mass market paperback um, rather, than, uh, rather than trade paperbacks. Um, but anyway, um, Hide and Seek is the first one. Um, then Tooth and Nail. Um, then I've got another copy of Tooth and Nail. So obviously in my um, eagerness to get all of the books, um, I've got multiples of um, a couple of them. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, Tooth and Nail. My, my method of keeping track of the books I bought, which is to have a like an Excel spreadsheet that I can look at on my phone, um, when I'm in charity shops and things clearly doesn't work very well. Um, the next one is Stripjack and I've definitely read this one. I think this is, so this is book four. I think this is the last one that I've read, like reading them sequentially. Um, next one, book five is The Black Book. Book six is Mortal Causes. Book seven is Let It Bleed. Book eight, which is a bit thicker, is Black and Blue. Is this book nine? Yes, book nine is The Hanging Garden. Book ten, again, I've got two copies of this one. <laughs> um, and weirdly, they are 
identical apart from they've used slightly different colours. So one of them's green and one of them's blue. I don't know if there's any significance to that. Um, they look to be exactly the same apart from that. Although actually this one feels like it's marginally thicker. Um, so yes, anyway, Dead Souls. And we've got The Falls. Resurrection Men, which I think is one that I've read, um, but later on in the series. Flesh Market Close, which I think was published in the States as Flesh Market Alley for some reason. Um, the Naming of the Dead. Exit Music, which I think was supposed to be the last Rebus book, but there, he, he did subsequently bring him back. Um, and Standing in Another Man's Grave. So there are a few more after this. I think a couple of the ones after this I've got on Kindle. Um, but if there are any I, I don't have yet, as I say, I will pick them up. Um, and yeah, so I talked about Rebus. He's also got a, a kind of female partner, Siobhan Clark, um, who's fantastic as well. So she's a really good kind of counterpoint to Rebus. Who's, he's quite sort of grumpy and she's got a much more kind of positive outlook on life. So they, they do make a good double act. Um, so that's the Rebus books. And then I've also got... Um, this collection of short stories, Beggar's Banquet, which I think, it, I'm not sure if all of them are Rebus. Certainly many of them are Rebus, but I don't think they all are. Um, and then these two as well, which are from a another series that he started about a character called Malcolm something or other. I forget his name. Malcolm Fox. So the complaints, I think he's like in, in like internal affairs. Um, and then The Impossible Dead. Um, I think there's a few more of these, but uh, I haven't picked those up yet. Oh, yeah, there are. There's uh, Doors Open is another one, but it looks right. Um, so I'll need to get that at some point. But I'm going to do the Rebus ones first. Okay, it's time for another random book from the shelves. So today I have pulled out uh, the first of the Dresden Files books, Stormfront by Jim Butcher. Um, so I've never read the Dresden Files books, but clearly they have a, a very good recommendation. They're supposed to be really fun, kind of urban fantasy. Urban fantasy is not normally my thing. Um, but I've heard so many good things about these books. I'm definitely going to give them a try at some point. Um, so, yeah, as always, do let me know if you've read these books. Um, do let me know what you think of them. Um, and if you've got this far in the video, uh, what can you leave as a um, as an emoji? Leave the, leave the emoji of the guy with the cowboy hat on, because he's got a bit of a cowboy hat going on there. Um, so, yeah, let me know if these are any good and if I should, if I should read them. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you're safe and well. Hope you're reading good stuff. I will be back uh, in this slot next week with my Ian Banks books. Um, so watch out for that. Uh, but until then, cheerio. Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Um, today, uh, 